Andrea Trinkieri had his debut on Partizan's bench and Black and Whites gave Mega their first defeat of the season in Sremska Mitrovica. In the derby of the round, Crvena Zvezda made an easy win against Devita in Aleksandar Nikolic Hall and kept their perfect run. FMP won against Igokea in Laktaši, Zadar won in Novo Mesto and Budućnost ran through Olimpija in Morača. As usual, at the end, uh, we have top 5 plays of the round. Welcome to ABBA Magazine. New coach for Partizan is Andre Trinchieri. After Nenad Chanak left, the club signed a three-year-long deal with famous Italian coach. Trinchieri led Cantu, Unix, Bamberg and the national team of Greece. And in 2014 he was named a best European coach. Also, he is the first foreigner to lead Serbian club with most trophies in their 73 years long history. Last week, Monar brought two internationals to its roster. First, Bobby Brown came to bar, experienced playmaker and the last season in Olympiakos. And while playing for Siena, he was the best scorer of Euroleague. Former NBA player signed the deal with Monar until the end of the season, but it's possible for both sides to end the agreement earlier. Another new player for champion of Montenegro is Landing Sané. French center arrives to Monar straight from Paris, where he used to play for Level A. And last season he played for Reggio Emilia. Budućnost announced that Aaron Kraft isn't playing for them anymore. American playmaker during first five rounds averaged little under six points per game with three rebounds and assists. After ending the spell with Kraft, who will continue at Trento, champion of ABBA League is looking for a player on that position. Jacob Pullen came back to Cedevita. American playmaker played in Zagreb during 2015-16 season and helped the team to reach to top 16 phase of EuroLeague. And in ABBA League he averaged just under 15 points per game. Pullen ended last season in Iran and next to Cedevita in his career he played for Hapoel Virtus Barcelona and Himki. Nena Trajković isn't coach of Igokea anymore. Team from Aleksandrovac decided to let him go after a defeat on home court against FMP, which was his fourth in the first six rounds. Igokea previously strengthened their roster with Latavius Williams. Experienced center played for Valencia last season and his contract is until the end of the season. Only undefeated team after six rounds of ABBA League is Crvena Zvezda. Red and Whites made an easy win against Sibona and with Partizan beating Mega, they are now alone at the top on the table. Milan Tomic's team won in Aleksandar Nikolic Hall. Final score was 94-79. For visitors alongside the long-time injured Krušlin, Brazilians Benite and Lima, a Spaniard Aguilar were also absent. We saw return of Jacob Pullen. He indicated that he could be significant addition to the team of Croatian champion. He was second most efficient player in the team with 15 points. But despite his efforts, Crvena Zvezda controlled the result for all 40 minutes. Team from Belgrade played a very offensive and a testament to that is 14 made three-point shots with over 60% for two points and 22 team assists. They got a double-digit lead around the half of the first period and practically didn't allow their rival to get close at any moment. Zvezda played great in defense with absolute domination in defensive rebounds. They were increased their lead by minute and in second period it grew up to plus 19. Champions of Serbia kept the pace after the break. In third period we saw great roll by Ognjen Dobrić who played 18 minutes, scored 17 points and was the most efficient player of the winning team. 
Slavin Rimac team was saved from total disaster by Pullen and Nabel with three point shots. All that wasn't enough to jeopardize leading team as they ended the game routinely in a very nervous last period. Coach Tomic once again gave all players a chance to play and each of them managed to score. We'd already mentioned Dobrić, Čović with 13 and Sirbes with 11 points and 9 rebounds were in double digits while Regland and Perporoglu scored 10 points with 6 assists each. Best scorer for the team from Zagreb was Bell with 19 points and alongside him uh, Pulen. Captain Stipanovic scored 12 points with 7 rebounds. On Andrea Trinkieri's debut in a packed uh, pinky hole in Sremska Mitrovica, Partizan won against Mega Bemax 81-74. Black and Whites ended their uh, six-loss uh, run in all competitions, while giving their rival a first defeat in ABBA League this season. Visiting team started the game with an extraordinary energy and got to double-digit lead at the very early stages of the game, and they managed to keep uh, their lead uh, to the very end of the game. Vanya Marinković made two three-point shots and Page and Landel followed so just after about four minutes to play. Partizan had a 17-4 lead. During the entire game both teams had a lot of turnovers which is probably a reason why visitors didn't want the game at the first 10 minutes of play. In the Milović team Goga Bitadze was better than the rest. With his slam dunks and dominance in the paint the home team several times managed to get to minus five or minus six but they were lacking shooting inspiration for a complete comeback. Out of 31 attempts, Mega scored just uh, three point shots with uh, 12 missed free throws, which annulled their rebound uh, domination. End of the first half went to Partizan, uh, who, with a great roll from Zagorac, got uh, to their biggest lead. Except a great place by Bitadze. Rare were the moments in the third period when home team uh, threatened. After modest first half, Banja C started uh, playing uh, better and made some very important shots for his team. It seemed that Partizan will make an easy win after they had plus 17 at the key period of the game, but home team scored 12 unanswered points. This run was broken by C who scored for 3 points. Once again Mega got to minus 5 and had a possession from which they didn't score, so Landel sets a final score and give coach Trinkieri's team an important win. Most efficient player in Partizan's third win in a season of ABBA League were Marinković and Zagorac with 17 points each. Landel added another 13, C12, while Gagic ended the game with 10. Mega had just one double-digit player, Bitadze made all of his 10 two-point attempts while scoring 28 points, adding to that 11 rebounds and 4 blocks. In the first game of round 6, FMP won in Laktashi against Igokea. Final score was 85-74 and this was their first away win of the season. Igokea debuted Latavius Williams and returnee Jimmy Gavin. Home team uh, started the game better and after Lashic scored 4-3, they were up 10-2 uh, with just around 4 minutes played. With regularly good game from Apic, FMP managed to equalize by the end of the first period, but Ikea managed to get the lead at the very end, 21-18, after Zubčić scored five points in a row. Game was uh, evenly fought for the most of the second period, and in the last couple of minutes of the first half, first Rebet scored twice for three points, after which Pot scored three points for FMP for a biggest lead of plus 9. Visiting team in the first 5 minutes of the third period managed to keep the lead and bring it to plus 12 when Rebets made another 3 point for 58-46. After that FMP had a big fall and they didn't score until the end of the period, so with help of Zubčić and Lešić, Igokem made 16-0 run and got uh, the lead 62-58. Uh, but Rebets opened the last period with 5 unanswered points, which set uh, the tone for the rest of the game. FMP got their lead uh, back after Pot scored 5 points in a row, after which they never turned back. Bursac also scored uh, 5 in the row and Rebets uh, with his 6 uh, free points uh, give uh, a visiting team a double digit lead, which Igokea wasn't able to get close to until the end of the game. Best in defeated team was Zupčić with 25 points, uh, Lešić added another 16 and young Dalibor Ilić had a great game with 6 points and 13 rebounds. With FMP Rebet scored 20 points and 6 assists while Pot had 17 points.
Cibona continued with good games in regional championship after another win in Dražen's home, this time against Monar. Final score was 84-73. Ivan Veli's team got their third win in a row. Team from Zagreb opened the game much better and quickly got to double-digit lead. Champion of Montenegro waited full six minutes to score their first points. And after first period, they were trailing by 18 points. Mihailo Pavicevic's team were pulled offensively by Georgi Drenovac, so Monar went to the 15-minute break with acceptable minus six. Third period was marked by home team's American duo Rally Ross and Jefferson, but visiting team managed to stay in the game mostly with help of Drenovac. After Rally Ross made a buzzer beater at the end of the third period, Sibona got to the last period with plus 12th lead. Monar made another attempt around the half of the period when Micevic scored for free and uh, got his team to minus five. But Wolves from Tushkanac uh, had a ready response. They made uh, three point shots from as many attempts, uh, two by Marko Ljubicic for an easy win. For Cibona, Rally Ross and Marko to score 17 points each, while Jefferson got his double-double with uh, 15 points and 11 rebounds. In the losing team, Drenovac uh, with uh, 23 points was better than the rest. After winning in Belgrade against Partizan, Zadar got their second win of the season once again in the away game against Krka. Final score was 78-77. Game in Novo Mesto was evenly fought for full 40 minutes and the testament to that is that none of the teams managed to get to double-digit lead. First period went to the host, but offensive issues that Krka had and just 10 points in the second period caused them to have minus four at the halftime break. We saw a similar situation after the break too. Game was played point for point when Zadar managed to get to plus nine at the start of the last period. Domen Bratos woke up and started Krka's 16-4 run, which gave his team lead with three minutes left to play. Basic and Spralja scored for free, and uh, as it turned out, key points were made by Magherity, with just uh, 46 seconds left to play. True to be told, the home team had a chance to win uh, this game, but uh, Cinac couldn't uh, make a shot, so Zadar ended Krka's five-win run in the duels in Aba League. Luka Božić scored 18 points and nine rebounds, Bounds and assists for the winning team, while Magherity added another 15. For home team, Brator scored 18. In the last game of the round, Budućnost won against Olympia in Morača Hall. Final score was 85-69. This was their fourth win in the regional league. Olympia came to Podgorica with weekend team without Blaž Mesicek and Mirza Begić. Budućnost was without Aaron Kraft, whose contract got terminated, but also without Sead Šehović and Zora Nikolić. At the start of the game, it was evident that Olympia's tall players will have a lot of problems in the paint against the rival centers. Alen Omic managed to get his team a second and third shots with the fantastic rebounds while Earl Clark uh, scored points. Team from Ljubljana had a lot of problems in the offense, so they scored only 23 points for the entire first half. Current champion had a huge 22 points lead at the half time. Score was 45 23. At the second part of the game, we saw a completely different picture. Olympia started playing aggressive defense and they started to make some three point shots too. Dražen Bubnic made a three point attempt in the third period, in which visiting team scored 30 points and got to minus 11. Zoran Martic team didn't stop there. New run happened at the half of the fourth period when visitors made a 9-0 run and got to minus three. But after the timeout, Edwin Jackson makes two three-pointers in the row and with another one by Šehović, Budućnost gets back to double-digit lead and practically wins the game. Five players from Budućnost had double-digit points. Most efficient ones were Omic and Jackson with 11 points each. For the second time in a row, MVP of the round is Luka Božić. After four losses in a row, Zadar made two away wins. In round six, they won against Krka, and this win was mostly due to Luka Božić. He played all the 40 minutes and scored 18 points, nine rebounds and nine assists. He got uh, plus uh, 33 index points. Only player with better index as uh, Bitadze from uh, Mega with uh, 43, but unlike the team from Sremska Mitrovica, Zadar won in their game, so MVP award went to Luka Vožić.
You watched another edition of ABBA magazine. See you all uh, next week with the round 7 highlights.